oil-based pastels. And what we've done in step one is drawn out the composition in white chalk pastel. Um, in part two, I put down the basic colors. I did half of the composition and then I also finished the other half. So now we're ready to start adding details. So after you've put this color down, you can add texture by adding lines. And this is called feathering. So I'm gonna do that right now for the head of the cat. And I'm going to add some lines with white. And this just gives it texture and variety. So notice that I'm making lines kind of in a curved fashion to show that the cat is hairy and just the spherical shape of the cat's head. And a lot of people think that you have to blend this. I would just keep it like that. If you blend it, all that white will disappear. I might even put some green in there. Think of other places that you could do this. I might do it with um, orange, a lighter shade of orange down here. Maybe right here. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm just gonna look for areas that I can add detail. So we'll start at the top again. Remember, it's good to work from the top to the bottom, but right now we're going to smear anything. So keep your hands elevated. Don't let your hands smear. Some people, to protect the paper, put a second piece of paper down and work like that. I'm not going to. Okay, I'm going to start up here with the tassels. And I'm going to add a little bit of detail in a darker orange color. And since that's not showing up too well, I'm going to move into an even darker color. Even darker orange, if you have it. Okay, now when I look at this picture, I notice that there's a darker blue line around the ears and then some squiggle highlights. I'm going to do that. too hard. Okay. And don't think that you have to blend everything. Sometimes it's okay to just leave the line for variety. We've got smeared areas and nice crisp line. So now I need some squiggles in here. Okay. Um, I'm going to work on the eyes. So there's a lot more going on with the eyes that I might not even have time to show you, but I'm just going to put circles around there. This one's a little smaller. And I see some white. Okay, um, also haven't drawn the eyebrows yet, so I'm going to add those in. Notice that I'm almost starting to layer too much, and when you layer too much, your composition gets muddy. That means too brown, so I have to be careful here not to add too much color. So I see a line... And then little dots. There we go. Um, okay. I've forgotten about the nose. So it's time to work on the nose right now. Looks like a squiggly nose. It's a wavy line. Here's what I'm looking at. And then 
we've got some little shiny spots here. Occasionally you have to clean your chalk pastel when it gets too dirty. So I just like to have a regular tissue clean it off. Okay. And now let's work on the mouth. Looks like it's orange in the middle. Has a dark blue line. On the top. And a whitish line on the base. And you'll notice that I'm getting a lot of dust build up. So here's what you do. Tap it like this. And all the dust forms in the center. And now I'm gonna throw it in the trash. The trash is right next to me. Do not blow it. If you blow it in the air, it's actually not good to breathe in. So always get rid of your dust properly for safety's sake. Okay, now I'm back to working on the mouth. I see little shiny spots on the mouth. And I'm also going to put little dots here. This is getting dirty. So I've got to clean it. And oh, this is just adding some texture to your cat. These cats are supposed to look like they're made out of different types of fabric. Okay. So before I move on, I'm going to compare to my picture. And I see that I'm missing the whiskers coming out of the head up here above the 